Chicken pox is a viral disease, which is caused by a virus, called Rysella zoster, and it affects everyone at least once in a lifetime. Two days after getting infection, small, red and itchy blisters appear all over the body. Chicken pox is a contagious infection that quickly spreads from one person to another. Nowadays, most of the people get a vaccination against chicken pox, but still, it is very common in newborn babies and pregnant women. Sometimes, it attacks adults too. Normally, it takes almost two weeks for the symptoms to subside after getting the infection, but there are certain home remedies that can cure it quickly. What causes chicken pox? Chicken pox is caused by the herpes varicella zoster virus. It is spread by droplets from a sneeze or cough, or by contact with the clothing, bed linens or oozing blisters of an infected person. The onset of symptoms is 10 to 21 days after exposure. The disease is most contagious a day or two before the rash appears and until the rash is completely dry and scabbed over. What are the symptoms of chicken pox? Chicken pox appears as a very icky rash that spreads from the torso to the neck, face and limbs. Lasting 7 to 10 days, the rash progresses from red bumps to fluid-filled blisters, vesicles, that drain and scab over. Vesicles may also appear in the mouth, on the scalp, around the eyes or on the genitals, and can be very painful. This cycle repeats itself in new areas of the body until finally, after about two weeks, all of the sores have healed. The disease is contagious until all the spots have dried up. Unfortunately, the virus is also contagious for at least one day before the rash breaks out. Home Remedies for Chicken Pox 1. Baking Soda Mix a tablespoon of baking soda in one glass of water. Now, dip a sponge in this solution and apply it all over the body. Baking soda is one of the best remedies to eliminate the itching and irritation caused due to the chicken pox rashes. 2. Oatmeal, one of the safest home remedies to treat chicken pox is oatmeal. Take two cups of oatmeal and crush it into a fine powder. Now, put this powder into liters of water and let it remain for about 15 minutes. Take a cloth bag and put this mixture into it. Place the bag in a bathtub, filled with lukewarm water and shake it properly till the water turns milky. Soak yourself in this water to get an instant relief from the itchiness due to chicken pox. 3. Indian Lilac, Neem, Indian Lilac or Neem has great antiviral properties. Take some neem leaves and crush them into a paste. Apply this paste on the blisters in order to get relief from the itchiness. It will also dry out the rashes. 4. Honey, Apply honey on the affected area at least twice or thrice a day. Honey will quickly heal the blisters as well as also give relief from itchiness, caused due to chicken pox infection. 5. Carrot and Coriander Soup Take 100 grams of carrots and chop them well. Also chop 60 grams of coriander leaves and boil it with chopped carrots in water for some time. Now, strain and cool it down. Drink the soup once in a day. This will effectively heal the chicken pox. 6. Sandalwood oil. Sandalwood oil is an excellent soothing treatment for chicken pox. Soak a cotton ball in sandalwood oil and apply it on the blisters. This will quickly heal the rashes while reducing the symptoms of chicken pox. 7. Brown vinegar. Add half a cup of brown vinegar to a tub, filled with warm water. Soak in it in order to get rid of irritation and aid in a quick healing of chicken pox while also reducing the scars. 8. Green peas. Boil 200 gram of green peas in some water. After draining the water, crush it into a paste. Apply this on the chicken pox lesions and let it remain for an hour. 9. Ginger. Ginger is also effective in healing up the rashes, caused due to chicken pox. You can also add ginger to your bath water to get relief from itching. 10. Try herbal teas. Herbal teas are also beneficial in curing the chicken pox symptoms. You can try herbs, like chamomile, holy basil and lemon balm and take them in the form of tea. You just simply need to boil one of these herbs in water, and then, add a little bit of cinnamon powder, honey and a few drops of lemon juice. Drink this tea at least two to three times a day for better results. 11. 
tea tree oil, you can also apply tea tree oil, diluted with any carrier oil, to the chicken pox rashes. Tea tree oil is an excellent antibacterial, and therefore, it will help a lot in curing the infection. Lavender oil can also be applied to the rashes for a soothing effect. 12. Aloe Vera Apply fresh aloe vera gel on the rashes to get a soothing relief from chicken pox symptoms. Aloe vera is one of the best natural medicines for healing skin infections. 13. Calendula Apply a cream, based with calendula herb, for an effective relief from the rashes. 14. Over-the-counter medications Take over-the-counter medications, such as paracetamol, ibuprofen and acetaminophen for treating fever and pain, caused due to chicken pox. If the chicken pox blisters are causing too much itchiness, then it is better to take an over-the-counter antihistamine to get an immediate relief from it. Well, now we'll talk about preventive measures for chicken pox. Don't let yourself dehydrated, drink lots of water. Cut your child's fingernails if he or she tries to scratch the blisters. Vaccinate your child. Avoid being in physical contact with the infected person, especially when the blisters break out. Make your immune system strong by having healthy and balanced diet. Take lots of rest and don't go out. How is chicken pox spread? The infection is spread when the person sneezes or coughs, or when someone touches the fluid in the blisters. It can also be spread by touching something that has touched the fluid from the blisters, a good dressing which covered the sore. Chicken pox can be caught from the fluid and the blisters of someone with shingles, though this is rare. The person with chicken pox is contagious from the beginning of the illness, up to two days before the spots appear, until about five days after the first spots appear. So long as there are no new blisters or moist crusts on spots. The person will not be contagious even if there are still crusts on the skin. Chicken pox is very contagious, easy to catch. Over 90% of close contacts, such as other family members, will get chicken pox if they have not already had it or not been immunized. How long does it take to develop? Chicken pox usually takes around 14 to 15 days to develop after contact with someone who has it, range 10 to 21 days. Chicken pox in pregnancy and newborn babies. If a pregnant woman gets chicken pox during the first half of a pregnancy, there is a small risk that the unborn baby may be affected, less than 2%. Some of the effects include scarring, and birth defects. If a woman gets chicken pox from 5 days before delivery to 2 days after delivery, it is estimated that there is up to 30% risk that the baby will develop a severe infection. Many of these babies will die from the infection. Pregnant women should see their doctor as soon as possible if they have been in contact with chicken pox and are not certain that they have had chicken pox. There may be a treatment which could protect them if they are seen within 96 hours of exposure. That is all for now, see you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe and like this video.